What's up everybody, this is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to edit a Steam Workshop mission. Currently we are on BI Forms for Arma 3 and on a tutorial that I wrote up for this very subject. To begin with, let's scroll down and go to step one. The first step is to subscribe to a Steam Workshop mission. We click on this little arrow here. Now before we begin this step, I wanna let you guys know that there are two workshop missions that I will be subscribing to to better demonstrate the tutorial. So to start, let's go to the first step, which is to go to the Steam icon on your taskbar. Right click this taskbar icon and you want to go to library. Once you're in your library, go to the left side of the screen and to your games list and choose Arma 3. Then on the taskbar here, just go to the workshop. We are now in the workshop and what I have done is I've favorited the two scenarios that I'll be using for the tutorial. For the single player scenario, this is the mission that I chose, SP Infantry. Requires no mods and it's on the map Altus. So we're going to subscribe to it and you'll see it says downloading. At the bottom here it says this item has been added to your subscriptions. Some games will require you to relaunch them before they will be downloaded. Alright, so let's go back and the next one I'm going to subscribe to is a multiplayer mission, also a co-op. This mission is also set on the map Altus, requires no mods, and I'm going to subscribe to this one. Alright, so the mission is downloading. It is downloaded and same message has come up. All right, so we can basically exit the work workshop at this point. Step two. In this step, what we need to do is play the mission to install it. What I have here is information on single player scenario and information on the multiplayer scenario, both based on the scenario that I've subscribed to. In this step, I have various information with included screenshots. So basically what you need to do is start up Arma 3 and once you're on the menu I will walk you through the installation process of both the single player and the multiplayer scenario. I'll see you there. Alright we are on the main menu and for the single player scenario what you want to do is you're going to go to the single player tab here and then to scenarios and we want to find the mission that we subscribe to which right here is SP Infantry and go to the bottom right to play it. Just a note here when you play this scenario to install it you don't have to play the entire mission in its entirety you don't have to play it all the way through basically just have to get it started so that you're in game and you can move around shoot your weapons whatever once you've done that I'll show you what's next. So I usually wait till any intros or anything have completed and then once you hit continue here and you're in the mission basically press hit escape on your keyboard and then go down to where it says save and exit current mission to the menu. So just save and exit. Alright so that installs the single player scenario. So what we want to do next is go to back. So we're back on the main menu of the game. Now for the multiplayer scenario, this is what you have to do. The multiplayer scenarios, you go to multiplayer and then to server browser and then go to host server at the top here. Click on that. Fill the details for your name. Max players, I usually just set it to one. You don't necessarily you have to have a password I just throw one in and then you click on host server give it a few seconds and wait till the server starts up and once the server starts up you'll be on this page so all your maps will be on the left here and then all your scenarios for that particular map will be on the right so it says maps and missions so for this scenario what we want to do is we want to click on Altus and at the bottom will be the scenario that we subscribe to which will be in orange. So Terrace Hunt Factory is the mission that we subscribe to and for this what we need to do is you just basically click on play and that'll bring you to the lobby. 
So you just pick any slot, go to the bottom right here where it says OK, click on OK, and that starts up the mission. So once you're on the map here, uh, like the single player scenario, just go to the bottom right here where it says continue, click on continue, the mission will start. So once you're in game, basically just like the single player scenario, just press escape on your keyboard and then go to save and exit. It'll ask you if you cancel this mission, all players will be returned to the lobby. Are you sure? You just want to say yes. So this will save and install the, the mission. You'll get this page after it's completed and then just press continue which will bring you back to the lobby where you started. So from here, just click on back to where you're at this page, and then back again. It will be on the uh, multiplayer browser. Press back again until you're back on the main menu. Step three, locate the Steam Workshop folders and open the single player multiplayer scenarios that we subscribe to. And the first thing we want to do is locate the main folder where the uh, workshop folders are, are at. This gives you the address of that folder. It's basically C drive, users, your username, documents, Army 3 saved. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. We're going to minimize this. And what you want to do, the first way is to go to the bottom left of your screen and go to the start menu, click on it, and then go to the very top where it says expand, click on that and then go down to where it says documents. Hopefully that some of you or you guys have the documents here listed. So click on documents. That'll open up a folder, your documents folder. And once you're in here, locate where it says Arma 3 and double click on it. Now this is the main folder that you want to be in, but for Steam itself, you want to go into where it says saved. This is the folder that you want. So let's open saved. And as you could see here, we have multiple folders. The two that we want are the Steam and the Steam MP mission folders. The Steam is your single player workshop scenarios where they're saved once you've subscribed to them and installed them. And here is the multiplayer. Let's close these out and I'll show, the, show you the other way, the long way. So if you have a desktop icon like I do for your local disk or my computer. Let's go to my computer. The full path is go to local disk and then from here you want to go to users, your username, and then down to where it says documents, and then down to where it says Arma 3. From here you want to go to saved and we are on the Steam, Steam MP mission and other folders. We installed two scenarios, single player and multiplayer. We have our Steam folder. Let's open this up. And this is all our single player scenarios that we've subscribed to from the workshop. And the mission that we subscribe to in particular is called SP Infantry and it's on Altus. So this is our mission that we subscribe to. So once you locate that your mission in this folder, you basically uh, double click it to open it and in it you'll have a PBO. The main file that you're concerned with is the PBO. Now in some situations the scenario may be properly named and what I mean by that is you'll have the mission's name, you'll have .altis, whatever map that the scenario is on and .pbo. So this is a PBO file. But basically with this PBO, what we need to do is we need to extract it. In order to extract it, you need PBO Manager. So going back to the tutorial, if you have PBO Manager, I'll show you what to do. If you do not have PBO Manager, I have a tutorial on how to acquire it and use it. You will need PBO Manager in order to do this next step. So if you need help with that, here's a video for that. And what we need to do here is basically click on it so that it's highlighted and you're going to right click it and at the top you'll see where it says PBO Manager. You're going to go to the bottom option here where it says extract to the mission's name which is what you want. We're going to do that right now. We'll quickly through that and once it's done extracting you'll get a folder 
with the same name as the PBO. So now it won't say PBO anymore. It'll say the mission's name dot Altis. So basically that's it for the single player mission. What we're going to do next is we're going to open up the multiplayer version of this. And to do that, let's go back to Steam. So if you go to your address bar here for the folder, click on saved. And it'll bring you back to this page. So next we want to go to our Steam MP mission folder. Open that up and we want to look for the mission that we subscribe to, which is at the top actually. And it's CO4 percent 20 terrorist hunt dot altus. I'm going to double click to open it. And here we have the PBO for the mission, just like what we are looking for. Here is a problem. The problem is that the PBO is not named the mission's name, nor does it have the map extension, which happens to be Altus. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what happens when you extract this as it is. So we're going to basically right click it, go to PBO manager, extract to mission. And you're going to get, just like the single player, you're going to get the name of the PBO, same name as the PBO. If you open it, yes, the mission is here, it's functioning, it's, everything is good. The problem is, if you were to move this folder as it is, the name of the folder doesn't matter. But if you move this to the editor folder and try to load this, this will not load at all because the editor actually needs the dot altis or whatever map your mission is on to be in the name of the mission so let's delete this rename this and just copy it so right click it and copy it and then we're going to go back to this folder go back to this pbo and you still want to maintain maintain the dot pbo extension on it so just right click it right click the pbo go to where it says rename and only the mission name is highlighted so just right click it again and paste that'll paste the name of your of the actual mission in there and click on the screen to finalize it so now we have the mission's name dot altis dot pbo if you do not have dot altis the mission will not load in the editor i'm going to clean up the name a little bit take out the percent 20. the percent 20 is there because the game doesn't like spaces so that's what it is so i've renamed the pbo now we're going to right click it go to pbo manager and you can and you notice that when we extract to mission's name that the new name has applied. So let's extract to the mission's name. Here we have a folder with the same name as the PBO except without the PBO extension because now is now it's a mission folder. We open it up, we have the same files and everything. And this mission is ready to load into the editor. Going back to the tutorial, you can see here I put a important note and in this section I basically break this down with screenshots if you need to further your understanding of this then you could check this out step four locate the Eden editor folders and install the workshop missions All right, let's click on the arrow and this is a very simple step here we need to go to the main folder where the Eden editor scenarios are saved at and we need to move the workshop mission to them Let's go to the saved Steam folder, leave all the other folders open, and at the address bar, we're going to click on ARMA3. All right, so your Eden Editor folders are your missions and MP missions folder. This is where all the missions are saved when you save, save a mission in the editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to move both workshop scenarios into the single player missions folder because both single player and multiplayer missions are edited and loaded in the same place so it doesn't make any sense to have two separate folders at least not in my opinion so let's go back to our single player missions folder for the workshop open that up you're going to take your extracted mission folder and drag it to this folder drop close this and next you're going to go to the 
multiplayer folder, which happens to be this one, and you're going to take your extracted Steam Workshop mission and also move it to the same folder. Step five, open the workshop scenario in the editor. In this step, we got to go to the main menu of the game. So if you have the game already running, go to the main menu. If you don't, start up the game. Next, you're going to go to the editor and choose the map that your mission is on. In our case, it's Altus. Click on continue. Once you're on the map for your scenario, you're going to go to the top left here and click on open. You should see your missions that you move to the folder here. All right, so we're going to open up the single player mission first and just click on it so that the name of the mission is in the file name box and you're going to click on import. It'll ask you importing the scenario will update it to its new format. A backup will be created in the scenario folder. Do you want to import the scenario? Just click on OK. Give it a second and it'll load and your scenario should now open in the editor. All right, so we're going to go back to open top left multiplayer scenario and basically import it same thing and the multiplayer scenario is open as well back on the tutorial page itself if you have any other questions you could always ask on this thread itself or you can ask in the comments of the video I'll have this written tutorial linked in the description of the video and in the first comment of the video itself so you can use that as a reference and come here if you need to so I hope that uh, helps you guys out in terms of installing a Steam Workshop mission into the Eden Editor. And this concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.